Hello my friends, welcome to Cards TV. I just realized I have had this cartridge, Love You a Latte, for several months now and I have not used it. I didn't realize that until I opened it up and it still had the protective paper around the cartridge. So I thought I have got to use this cartridge, especially since I have a new set of stamps coming out. Actually I have three sets. And I was not going to show them to you till Wednesday, but I'm going to go ahead and show you one tonight. So this is going to be a sneak peek because I wanted to use this cartridge. And one of the stamps on one of my new sets will go really well with this. And I love these papers and I wanted to use them. So we're going to use the Love You A Latte cartridge. This is a Cricut Light and I picked this up at Walmart. We've got a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base, and this is kind of a pretty mocha color. I love that. On top of that, we have this pretty ivory, and all my cardstock is from Basil. Now, we're going to be using both sides of this Martha Stewart paper. I love this kind of diamond print on this, and it's kind of a chocolate brown and white. And the back is a chocolate brown, and it just very lightly has a few little leaves in it, but I don't think it will matter with the leaves because the dark part that we're going to use on it is not very big. We're mostly going to be using this side. Okay, four and a quarter by five and a half, four by five and a quarter, three and three quarters by five. And this adorable paper is from Flair, and it's called Coffee Talk. And it comes in a 12 by 12 sheet. I got it at the scrapbook store. And it's got all kinds of words about coffee and different kinds of coffee and coffee pots and all kinds of things on it. And I just love it. It's so cute. And this is three and a half by four and three quarters. And we're just simply going to layer all these together. And you know I don't like white edges showing, so we're going to use some Tim Holtz tea dye Distress Ink. And I'm going to ink around all these layers and adhere them together. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to put on here. So I'll get busy doing this. And I'll come back when I get them all done. And we'll take a look at it. And we'll get this last piece on. And we'll have our card base all ready. I love these rich colors. I love coffee, so anything that looks like coffee or makes me think of coffee, I just love. There we go. And I really like the pattern of the Martha Stewart behind this. It just really makes this little paper pop, I think. Now... To go on top of this, we're going to do two images out of the Love You A Latte cartridge. In the little brochure, in the first column, this is image number nine. And you've got your background pieces, and then you've got a little coffee carafe with coffee in it. So I went ahead... And I've cut this out, and I cut this at two and a half inches, and that's the same size for all the pieces. Now, I layered it together, and I used brown, the back side of that Martha Stewart paper that's got the little leaves, but you can't tell, you know, that it's got the leaves on there. And I used some ivory, and the coffee pot in here does not have this little red stripe on it. I just cut that and added it myself because we're also going to be using on the second column this little coffee mug and I cut this at an inch and a half and it's got this little red heart. Also I cut this on flip. There that is right there. I didn't cut out the word coffee though. It was very small and I didn't really think it would look good on there for what we're doing with this card. But I thought that was kind of cute and it matched. <laughs> and I've got both of these on two thicknesses of foam tape. Now I'll tell you again, the mats and the coffee pot were cut at two and a half inches 
and the coffee mug and the heart was cut at an inch and a half. And here are the mats that go behind that little coffee pot. We've got one square one, and see that's the paper with the leaves. And we're going to use the chocolate brown side, then we're going to use this uh, next piece that's the same color as this, and I'm going to ink around this. And then another piece of the Martha Stewart. And we're going to add our little coffee pot right there. I think that's so cute, and I love that pop of red. Our little mug is going to go right here, and we're going to add our sentiment right up here. And that's from the new Cards TV stamp set, Facts, Frequently Asked Questions. I love this set. It's all questions. You can use these for cards or scrapbook pages. Let's go through some of them. What's shaken? And you know I did a card with a milkshake on it, and I used that one. So I had to add that to this set. Are we there yet? That would be perfect for... Uh, like a road trip album. How are you? That's just a basic question you can put on a card. What's for dinner? <laughs> Who's on first? What's up? What was I thinking? What are friends for? What's cooking? What's the score? Guess what? What's the scoop? Got game? What's brewing? And that's the one we're going to be using today. There that is right there. Guess who got milk and what will I do without you? And that could be, you know, like if somebody is moving away or something and you just want to tell them you're going to miss them. But that's one of the new sets. And this will be in the store on Wednesday along with two other sets, but I'm not going to show you those today. I'm going to show you all of them uh, probably Wednesday. So here's what's brewing. Now I used some Memento Rich Cocoa ink to stamp this and I just trimmed it out. This is on a little piece of ivory cardstock and I went around it with the Tim Holtz Tea Dye Distress ink and I'm going to add that right up here at an angle and I've got a little burgundy button with some embroidery floss through it that I'm going to put right there for another little pop of color. But I'm going to go ahead before I adhere these down and go around the edges of these mats and then put these down. And I'll come back in a minute and show you the finished card. Here's our finished card and I love the way it turned out. I'm so glad I got out that love you a latte cartridge because I think it went really well with this sentiment from the new set of stamps called facts frequently asked questions love all these papers together it makes me want to go get a cup of coffee right now guys <laughs> and I think I'm going to do just that but thanks so much for coming by today and I'll have the new stamp sets in the store for you probably on Wednesday but I appreciate you all, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.